Today, we're tackling a classic with a healthy twist carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Yes, you heard right. We're making a lighter version of this beloved dessert that's just as delicious as the original, but without all the guilt. Now I know what you're thinking. Carrot cake, healthy, trust me on this one. We're using wholesome ingredients and smart swaps to create a cake that's not only good for you, but also bursting with flavor. Think moist, perfectly spiced cake studded with sweet carrots and topped with a tangy cream cheese frosting. It's enough to make your mouth water. So whether you're a seasoned baker or just starting out, this recipe is for you. It's easy to follow, uses everyday ingredients, and the results are guaranteed to impress. Are you ready to get baking? Let's go! Before we get our hands dirty, let's gather our ingredients. Don't worry, we're sticking to pantry staples and readily available items. Here's what you'll need for the cake. One and a half cups all-purpose flour. Feel free to substitute with whole wheat flour for an extra health boost. Two teaspoons baking soda, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon ground cloves, half a teaspoon salt, three quarters cup granulated sugar. We're cutting back on sugar here without compromising sweetness. Three quarters cup unsweetened applesauce, our secret weapon for moisture and natural sweetness. One third cup vegetable oil, four large eggs, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one and a half cups grated carrots, about two medium carrots, and half a cup chopped walnuts or pecans, optional but highly recommended for a satisfying crunch. For the irresistible cream cheese frosting, you'll need eight ounces reduced fat cream cheese, softened, we're keeping it light and tangy, four tablespoons unsalted butter, softened, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and three cups confectioner's sugar. We're using less than traditional recipes for a less sugary frosting. See, simple everyday ingredients that come together to create a truly extraordinary cake. Now that we have everything we need, let's move on to the fun part, baking. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius, and grease and flour a nine by 13 inch baking pan. This will ensure your cake doesn't stick and bakes evenly. Now let's make the batter. In a large bowl, whisk together the flour, baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and salt. These spices are the heart and soul of our carrot cake, giving it that warm, comforting flavor. In a separate bowl, combine the sugar, applesauce, oil, eggs, and vanilla extract. The applesauce acts as a natural sweetener and adds moisture, while the oil keeps the cake tender. Whisk everything together until well combined. Gradually add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients, mixing until just combined. Be careful not to overmix, as this can result in a tough cake. Now, it's time to incorporate the stars of the show, the carrots. Gently fold in the grated carrots and nuts, if using, until they're evenly distributed throughout the batter. Section four, baking to perfection, the sweet smell of success. Pour the batter into the prepared baking pan and spread it evenly. Pop it into the preheated oven and bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until a wooden skewer inserted into the center comes out clean. While the cake is baking, resist the temptation to open the oven door too often as this can cause the cake to sink. Trust the process and let the aroma of cinnamon and nutmeg fill your kitchen. Once the cake is baked, remove it from the oven and let it cool completely in the pan before frosting. This is crucial to prevent the frosting from melting and sliding off the cake. Section five, whipping up the frosting creamy dreams. While the cake cools, let's make the star of the show, the cream cheese frosting. In a large bowl, beat together the softened cream cheese and butter until smooth and creamy. Add the vanilla extract and confectioner's sugar and beat on low speed until combined. Then increase the speed to medium and beat until light and fluffy. Be careful not to overbeat the frosting, as this can make it grainy. Once the frosting is ready, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and store it in the refrigerator until you're ready to frost the cake. This will help the frosting firm up and make it easier to spread.